Hello and welcome back to Somewhere in Wisconsin. We're on part two of our boat build today. My goal today is just to get these floors done and installed. I bought some inch and a half uh, foam board and what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay that between the supports and the bottom of the John boat and after I do that I'm going to go ahead and run over to Tractor Supply Store and grab either a half inch or a three quarter inch rubber mat and I'm going to put that mat down on top of the insulation and the fit there should be pretty good. So here's just kind of a quick example of what I'm doing. I just take a quick measurement and I leave myself about a quarter inch. So I cut it about a quarter inch small. It leaves about an eighth on each side. So I'll cut this piece at 10 and three quarters. Some people do some crazy stuff to cut this, but I just kind of score it and break it. That's kind of how I do it. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. You really need to push that hard. Gonna step directly in the middle. That broke it. My first four boards I broke actually broke perfect, the foam board. Uh, I just had kind of a funny one here that broke funny. So I'm just gonna actually pull out my little portable table saw. I'm just gonna cut it with the table saw. You can score it, just be careful. Take your time, maybe score it a few times so you're nice and deep, and then when you step on it, It'll break, but pull up the table saw and we'll try that. Saw works really good. So I'm gonna cut the rest of them with the saw and we'll go from there. First part of the floor project is done. Uh, next step is to run over to Tractor Supply and get either some half inch mat or I think they might even sell horse stall mat. I'm not really sure. I gotta figure that out when I get there. Here's what we have done so far. All right, so this is my second day working on the floor project. Uh, I didn't get a chance to run to the store to get some stall mats until, until today. Ran to Tractor Supply. They only had four foot by three foot, and that wouldn't work for my situation. Ended up going to Farm and Fleet, which is a Midwestern store, at least a Wisconsin store as far as I know. And they had some truck bed liner. It's a quarter inch thick, which is actually okay because it'll keep the weight down. And it's rubber. And what I'm gonna try or attempt to do is, I'm gonna first cut and measure. I first measure, just put a little chalk line down there and I'm gonna cut that. I'm gonna use this tool right here and I tested a little pot, spot of it. I think it's gonna work great. So I'm gonna cut with this. Sweet! That worked awesome. Not the straightest cut in the world, but it honestly works for me. That was freaking gravy. Get one of those. My goodness. Got to measure the width. So that's what I'm doing now. Measuring the width of the boat, and then I'll make my cuts for the width, or one cut for the width. 
And what I did here, so I don't mess up the floor, is I just laid the board under there. It gives me a nice gap to cut on. And I just cut away. my good old handy dandy tool here. I just cut all the flaps out here. So I think I'm gonna cut them all off. Probably make a mark and cut them. Okay, got all my little notches cut out from my floor. A little sloppy, but it's okay. Doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. There are the self-tapping screws I'm putting in. I'm putting a washer on them too, uh, just to hopefully prevent them from ripping. And uh, we'll see how that goes. I think I'm gonna put in four in the front to start, and we'll go from there. All right, floor is basically done. I got a cutout for these spots here. And then uh, I think what I'm gonna do, especially in the front, because it's kind of folding up, and also to hide some of that foam board, is I'm gonna put in some little trim boards here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lay it on there, uh, make a cut. I don't know if I'm gonna go the whole distance or just part of it. And then I can just screw those into the seats. So that will just kind of hold these down from curling up like they are right now. All right, we're on day three of this flooring project. Instead of wood, I'm going to frame out these corners down in here. Uh, I'm gonna use just a piece of like corner aluminum, piece of aluminum, kinda like this. I'm just gonna lay it in there and uh, screw it to the decking. It's in there, but I'm gonna paint it as well. My dad suggested the aluminum over the wood just cause then the wood won't rot, or the aluminum won't rot. The wood over time would probably rot. So that's kind of uh, the plan right now. I'm gonna get that one painted. I screwed a couple holes in it and then I'll use some self tapping screws to screw it to the deck here. All right guys, the floor is done. This is day three of the project of the floor, mostly because I just didn't have all the materials to get started right away. Kind of changed my plans a little bit as I was doing it, but the floor's done. Here's a quick peek at it. I think it turned out good. It'll work perfect, exactly what I needed to do. So here it is. So as I finish up the flooring in this John boat, a couple things that I might do differently next time I do one or next time I build one. Um, one, I would probably keep the flaps attached on the mats when I put them on. I cut the little flaps out um, and it didn't look as nice. Now my second side looks better than my first side, um, but... I like the look better when they're actually staying attached, so I would probably leave them attached on this one. Uh, another thing that I would do is I wouldn't even consider the wood as the trim. My dad had the idea of putting aluminum down as kind of the trim to hold the mat down in the front and around the seat so it doesn't curl up. And that worked out really, really well. It looks clean. I uh, took some green spray paint, uh, painted them up uh, in OD green, and it looks great. It looks uh, not professionally done, but it looks like there was some thought put into it. That's pretty much all I have for the floors. Uh, I don't have that much extra material in this 1648 and I think I bought a 60 inch by 120 inch truck bed mat. That's what I cut up. It's a little bit expensive but it wasn't terrible and it was definitely cheaper than buying a bunch of lumber and carpet and things like that. I don't know, we have a nice clean floor on the boat. It might get hot in the summers. We might throw some towels down it or something if we're gonna go out fishing or if we want to be in bare feet or gonna do some swimming somewhere. But overall, I really like how the floor turned out. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching the second video in this boat build series. If you haven't seen the first video in the series, make sure you check it out right over here on the side. Also, you can check out the third video when it is done right over there on the side as well. I'll put them in all in a playlist so that you can check them out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Chase. We are always somewhere in Wisconsin, and we'll see you next time.